Hey guys, how's it going? So what we're going to be talking about today is importing a new shoot that you just did with your camera and putting it into your software and into your XR 2024 database, making sure that everything is analyzed so that the next time you ask the AI to find a certain picture, you know that it will include the pictures that you just imported from a new shoot that you just did. Therefore, this is importing photos into an already existing database that has already been analyzed, already been seen, and has already been evaluated. So stay tuned and watch. Before I start this video, I just want to tell you guys that I am an XR Photo 2024 partner. If you like the software and you want to support the channel, do not forget to go into the description. You will find a 15% discount code and an affiliate link. Just click on those. It supports the channel and makes me be able to do these videos for you. So without further ado, let's get into it. Okay guys, so I know all of you have different ways of doing what you do within your software. A lot of people just plug your camera in and import from the camera. But today I'm gonna to be showing you how to import photos into the XR database by taking the card out of the camera. I strongly recommend that you actually take the card out, put the card into a card reader, and then import it into your software. It's gonna make a lot more sense, and you'll find out why in a second. So I went out, took some pictures around my yard. We are in August over here in Quebec, and the wildflowers are popping out, so I took a little bit of macros, and we're gonna be importing those photos. So guys, there's two ways to get your stuff imported. One way is to just actually go to your card, go to your memory card. So let's say in this case, I go here, I go to this PC, I go to USB drive, I go to DCIM, I go to the actual folder here. I highlight all these photos, I copy them, and then you make a file within the drive where you want it. So let's say you want it here, you can call it uh, background flowers or whatever new and then you make a, a, a folder called background flowers let's say i do that back ground flowers what you're doing is you're taking care of the initial import so what you do is you go into background flowers and you paste all the photos you have once you have pasted those photos you can go into here right here into folders press the add folders. When you press that, you can add the folder that you just did called backyard flowers or whatever. And you can include subfolders, analyze photos, analyze and create previews. Now that's one way to do it, but I think the best way to do it is the way I used to do it in bridge and the way you probably do it in uh, Lightroom. What you do is you go to the top here file and you have two different ways add folders is what i just showed you but there's also copy and add folder so that does everything you need done so you go choose source folder you go here you choose 109 fuji select folder and then you choose a destination folder now i can go background flowers because i just created that you say select folder you're ready to go it will import directly into that folder. Now, what's great here is it's a lot like Lightroom is that you can go and automate the rename that you want. For example, here you go add photos to the same folder and rename them. So that's click to on. You can leave that to off. When you leave it to off, this dialog leaves. When you put it on on, you can tell what you want to do and how do you want to rename it like Bridge, like Lightroom, like other software that's out there. Once you've chosen your source folder, remember that just below you can see where the folder is from. When you've chosen your destination folder, you can confirm that it is right here in photography, work in progress, background flowers. That is done. You're ready to go. Now, what's really fun is that right here, you can decide whether you're going to name or rename the photos. You can decide not to rename and just keep the name of the photo that's right there. But if you put this on here, you can add a new profile and call this backyard flowers and you can decide how you want to rename what do you want to do do you want a base name do you want a prefix do you want a suffix 
I'm going to put base name, uh, uh, let's say background, uh, backyard, B yard dash flowers. How is that? That's not bad. Now, if you only want that, that's fine. You can do that and you can go and do whatever you have to do. When you save this backyard flowers, it will be ready to go. You close this and you have a new renaming profile called backyard flowers. Now, here's the preview. It's going to be backyard flowers one, backyard flowers two, and everything like that. Now, you can change all the different ways. You can learn how. I mean, we can probably go into how you can work on your profiles and everything, but this is something I think you can just doodle with and learn on your own. You'll be fine. But what's really fun is that you can create your own little profile and decide to actually back up other stuff. And what's really great is just below, you get a preview of what the renaming is going to do. Here's the real fun part of this way of importing photos into your database. You analyze your photos right off the bat and it's done while the import is going on. You can create previews. I'm going to put always create previews because I like to have good quality previews when I start evaluating my photos. When all of that is ready to go, you press start. And at the top, you'll have task in progress, copying files. It'll bring those files in slowly but surely. Now, these imports take quite a while because remember, it's an AI software. So not only does it import the photos, it renames the photos like other software. But after that, it actually analyzes and looks at the flowers, looks at the bokeh and it'll start tagging the photos for you. You'll be able to search for different parts and aspects that these photos have when it's time to do a search later on. So the import is a lot longer than if you did it with a normal software because it does a lot more afterward when you want to work on searching with the database. Just remember that. So don't be afraid when you see that the import takes quite a while. So I'll just let that import, let it analyze, and I'll see you guys on the other side. And there you go. Once you're done, this will open up. It will be a status report on how it went for the import. It just tells you that it found 59 photos and 59 photos were processed and they're there and ready to go. So if I press this and say done, once I go here into folders, I should find backyard flowers. And there it is, backyard flowers. If we go there, we can see all these photos of flowers that I just took. Oh, there you go. And you can do searches and different, let's say if I click on this photo, and we can go to the keyword in the histogram. You're going to see that there will be keywords there already done. Flower, nature, plant. Flower, nature, plant, unsaturated photo. Thanks a lot, guy. You're, you're giving me a hard time. Blossom, bokeh, flower, nature, plant. So you have to make sure you import well into XR Photo 2024 because by importing well, you make sure that your database is aware of what is inside each new import. So you have to make sure to use the AI features of this software. You guys, that's about it. I am an affiliate. If you guys like the software, like what you see, like to be reassured that not only do you have AI triage, but you also have traditional triage. Well, uh, you can buy the software and support my channel and you can get a 15% discount on the purchase that you make. So check it out in the description. Like, share, subscribe, and don't forget everybody. Keep on making something from nothing.